how to convince the police when you cross, to get them to come to the police in the first place, to save the lives of those about to be blown up. And this ordinary policeman tells us in a high-handed way. We don't even have to explain. Just send a text message. Whether it's true or not, we'll be the first to respond. This uplifting phrase brought light to Annie's duo. Saving the bomb was finally the best guarantee. The two of them crossed back to the bus again. By now, Mike's after effects were getting worse. He had just woken up with a nosebleed. It turns out that Mike's health is getting worse with each cycle. They finally realized that the number of cycles Mike can do is not infinite. But it didn't matter. This time, with Team Jean, they'll make it. Time was running out. They took a picture of the extinct man's disorder. Then they sent a text message to Team Zhang, describing in detail the situation of the bomb in the car. After that, they called again. Make sure Team Zhang could see it first. And after Team Zhang saw it, just like he said, he immediately dispatched the entire police force to the station. At that moment, the two of them hugged each other tightly, because they knew in their hearts, this was probably their last cycle. If they failed, it would be a real failure. Annie cried out again, but this was not the time to be upset. They quickly pulled themselves together. At that moment, they also received a reply from Zhang's team. The two of them quickly went into action. They had to delay the arrival of the bus, to buy time for Zhang's team. Otherwise, they wouldn't have time to set up their position. Once again, Annie used her pervert tactics, making the bus tense. Mike plays along with the act, accusing the person taking the photos, and then gets physical with him. Annie tells the driver that there is a fight. She asks the driver to pull over and let him out. The driver did fall for it, so he stopped and opened the door for her. But how could Annie get out? First she stood there for a few seconds in a daze, and then slowly went to the back to get her bag. But that wasn't enough time. At that very moment, Annie had a brainstorm. Then Mike lied about losing the flash drive. He was on the floor pretending to look for it. At this point, the exterminator was in a hurry. Because her plan was to explode in the middle of the bridge at exactly 1.45, the men couldn't wait either.